Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. This is the True Kryptonian bringing you another informative video for you guys. Uh, before we get into the topic at hand, uh, if you hadn't already, subscribe to the channel. You really do me a solid. Uh, drop a like, leave a comment below. Let me know how I did guys. It's a growing channel. It's a work in progress uh, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, today's topic is going to be, uh, I've, I've been asked this question a lot, a whole lot and I covered it in a uh, past video from about uh, two years ago on you know is scuff worth it and whatnot. Well, this video is really about which do you prefer between the scuff impact, the Vantage Pro, or just the uh, standard DualShock 4? And I've been asked the number one question which is better? Now, I really don't believe in the relative question, you know, a relative answer rather of between which one is better it's all about how you play and what games you play like if you play a lot of call of duty a lot of fortnite you know like black ops 4 modern warfare and then, you know and what have you you know scuff is going is, is going to be number one top tier okay why i say that is because if for example you know you've got on this my uh scuff impact you've got these digital triggers you know the mouse click i call them mouse click you know, they're so fast. It, it, they're damn near instant aim, instant shoot. You know, and I got it on the firing as well. And then you come over here to the Vantage Pro. You've got, you know, the standard, you know, triggers, which is what most people are used to. Now, the difference between the two is you've got a little more time in between aiming and firing. As you can see here, you know, about maybe two or three milliseconds versus over here. It's damn near instant. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Is damn near instant. Um, you know, and on the uh, impact, the analogs are a, a tad bit longer versus, you know, on here, the Vantage 2, they're a little shorter. Now, now you can, now, you know, like I said, it re it's really dependent on, you know, your makeup, how your hands, you know, what you, what, you know, what you like to feel. You know, me personally, I choose the impact. Simply because I got so used to that that Xbox 360 style shape controller that this was just this was this was this was a match made in heaven. They could do no scuff could do no wrong with this design, you know. Um, and then with the Vantage too, you know, you got to, you know, you can change the the plates. If I can get the bleeping thing off, you know. Yeah, there we go. You know, you can take the face plate off. You know, they come in different colors, customize it any way you want. You know, take the rumbles out, put them in. You know, as you see here, you know. And, you know, really, you know, it's a great controller. You know, extra bumpers here and, you know, you can you can set these to aim and fire if you want. But, you know, it's 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 a great controller, but it's not really me, so to speak. It's a great controller, though. You know, I will not deny that. Um, but if you're playing Call of Duty, like, you know, Modern Warfare, Black Ops 4, you know, some people are even still playing, uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, or Infinite Warfare, uh, COD World War II, or what have you, this, these controllers are top tier, but the edge will go to the, uh, Scuff Impact. Now, that's not one, that's not for me to say that you can't get the digital mouse click triggers on the Vantage 2 because you very well can okay you very well can uh but I, I chose to get it on this simply because you know I like the feel I like the style I like the handle now one thing that this controller the Vantage 2 has the edge over on the uh, on the impact is if you look closely here it comes with that great that, that military grade you know and you need that for those extra sweaty lobbies you know you know you know what i'm talking about <clears throat> um now i have heard that some people can play 2k and madden with a scuff controller however uh let me warn you if you're gonna play madden or 2k or anything like that you cannot use these digital uh triggers at all uh they don't work that way they they're, they're exclusively for shooting and aiming you know so you want to keep that in mind. At least with the trigger stops, you can just tune those up, tune them down, and, you know, 
you can go to town. Uh, when I'm playing 2K or Madden or, or in Need for Speed, I go with the regular, you know, because it's it's simple, it's basic, you know, not a whole lot of hoopla there, you know, just you know, brake, you know, accelerate, e brake, you know, it is what it is. But if I have to pick one and say which one is better, I'm gonna have to go with the Impact uh, Scuff Impact Pro or Impact because. You know that 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 Xbox 360 kind of style is just you, you just can't beat it. You, you just can't. You know I'm Team PlayStation, but that design is just flawless. You know. But anyway, I hope this answered uh, answered a, a big question for some of you guys. Um, like I said, drop a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think in your opinion about you know which do you prefer, or which do you think is best for those of you who have played with a scuff before um i didn't really include the infinity 4 ps pro uh simply because it's in a class of its own so it wouldn't have been fair it wouldn't have been a fair matchup but um you know subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already uh and you know let me know how i did guys this channel is a work in progress and i'll be sure to drop more content uh for you guys if you got any more questions for me uh leave them in the comments below and i'll make another video in regards peace love and applesauce and have a safe night and be safe out there.